welcome to the latest edition of Explore Richland. I'm Mark Ingham. Well, we have an exciting show for you today, not only because we are featuring one of the most talented softball teams in the Mid-Columbia Conference, but because spring sports are finally underway after a slow start thanks to Mother Nature. We are at Hanford High School to preview the Lady Falcons softball team. Expectations are high. This is a team that went 15-8 and eight last season and returns eight seniors. Joining us now is Hanford Falcon head softball coach Leslie Wereka. Leslie, Hi. thanks so much for joining us today. Absolutely, thanks. Now, Leslie, it was a rough start to the season, and I'm not talking about wins and losses. I'm talking about Mother Nature and this amount of snow we had in February that carried over into March. How did weather, you know, put, make it tough to start the season? It was a pretty unusual start to the season for yeah. us. Uh, we usually plan about being inside maybe once or twice a year, usually because of rain and the fields get a little too muddy, or um, sometimes we have wind storms and so we have to go inside. And so it was really unusual for us to spend the first three weeks for sure inside um, away from our field. We weren't sure we would see a field before we played and we're excited to be outside now. Now, Leslie, this is your 12th season as the head coach here Correct. at Hanford. Um, great season last year. You made yeah. regionals, yes. but fell one game short of making the state tournament. Correct. We mentioned that you have eight returning seniors on your team this year. You know, what are your expectations for your team? Uh, so it's really interesting. I talk to them about my expectations for their team um, are to uh, do their best and have fun yeah. every year. Those are really my expectations. We have a lot of goals um, and we have some si exciting things that we work towards. Um, but really, as far as my expectations, are we do our best every day mm -hmm. and then uh, we work hard and we have a lot of fun. And then I feel like everything else kind of takes care of itself. Our league is really awesome and will be really tough. Mm -hmm. And so until kind of everybody gets rolling and we get going, uh, I'm excited to see where it all plays out. But I feel like if we take care of the small details, all of those things take care of themselves. So I try not to put too many um, real number expectations on in terms of wins and losses and all of those kind mm -hmm. of things. Um, we obviously expect to do well and uh, compete in all of our things. And we measure a lot of small things, um, kind of process-based things. Like how are we doing um, in terms of offensively and defensively in our program? And those are really the expectations we talk about more than um, just where we finish in the conference. Are mm -hmm. we competing? Are we doing our best every day? And are we having a good time yeah that's great yeah. now what do you believe the strength of your team is uh, I think the strength of our team this year uh, is really our um, ability to uh, be comfortable being uncomfortable mm. we lots of kids have moved positions this year and we're kind of mixing things up and they are obviously really uncomfortable being inside <laughs> for the first three weeks and so um, we've learned how to adapt and then come together and I feel like we've gotten a really good start to the season and we've left a lot of those outside distractions, I think, um, let those go and just be really comfortable being like, okay, let's go, let's do it today. So I'm excited about that. No doubt. And now at the time of this interview, you've played three games. Correct. Two at Sela, Central Valley from Spokane came down. Correct. So you scored a lot of runs in those three games. We did. What was your, your takeaway from the, the three games you've played so far? Uh, my big takeaway is that our kids are aggressive early, yeah. which is a really good sign. Um, we can always dial things back, but a lot of times it's tough um, if kids aren't aggressive early to get things going. And so we've had some good opportunities early to hit the ball hard and put ourselves in some positions to score a lot of runs. So that's been, it's been really exciting. So I'm excited to watch our hitters develop as we continue to face pitchers um, against this season we know we're going to continue to face better and better pitching in our league and so I'm excited to see what those kids do kids do but building their confidence early um, is really important and so I'm excited about that yeah great okay. now Leslie I'm sure each team you've coached is special and unique you know in their own way mm -hmm. but with eight seniors on this team I just wanted to ask you you know how special is this group and how how much fun are you having coaching them I am having a ton of fun coaching yeah. this group they are uh, they're a really great mix of uh, old kids and then we have a lot of new up-and-coming kids in our program um, that we're really excited about and so I feel like it's a good mix of kids that are settled in and kind of know our routines and expectations and then kids that are really just excited to be here and and do that not that our seniors aren't excited to be here they're super um, excited and really taking one day at a time um, and doing doing all those kind of things but uh, this for sure um, is a group of kids that I've gotten to coach for now you know three and a half years so far and um, they're a great bunch of kids I really uh, like hanging out with them um, they're awesome people and mm. I think that those are the things that I remember long after 
they yeah. graduate, really not as much about how we played, um, really about how we worked as a team and then who they are as individuals. And these, these girls are awesome. Wow, well, well said, Leslie. Thank, 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 you. thank you so much for coming on the program and we wish Absolutely. you nothing but continued success this season. Thank you. Yes, that ball's moving the right amount. Well, joining me now is Annie Polster. And Annie, your coach introduced me to you as a junior pitcher. Mm -hmm. But I started looking at your hitting stats. <laughs> 420 batting average, two home runs, 33 <laughs> RBIs last year. And that got me thinking, you have to be one of the best hitters in the MCC. How do you improve on your hitting stats this year? Um, just probably to improve would be getting a lot of reps um, downstairs in my basement. My grandpa comes over and we have a machine. So that's really helpful, getting um, tons of extra reps outside practice. Um, but also just learning like um, pitchers and like what their zones are and who's like what the umpire's calling and who's got like what and just definitely getting lots of reps in and playing for a competitive team also really helps me. Wow, and important yeah. to note those hitting stats came as a sophomore, so yeah. just amazing. <laughs> now, we've been talking a lot about this as a senior-led team, you know, mm -hmm. eight seniors, you're a junior. What do you feel your role is on this team? Mm -hmm. um, I would say my role probably is to um, just keep people accountable and keep the seniors accountable because um, while they keep underclassmen accountable and like me accountable, like it's also my job to keep them accountable. Um, but also to just learn from them and so that I can have the like same kind of like role as them next year so that I can take their spots because there's eight of them and one of me. Mm -hmm. So just to be able to really like live up to their expectations and I've just been watching through the years of playing for this team um, what what I can do to be a good leader when I am a senior. Yeah, that's great. And now, Annie, you are a, a three-year, almost a four-year, because I assumed you were a yeah. senior, but you're a three-year varsity player. You played as yeah. a freshman, sophomore, now as a junior. Yeah. What goals have you set for yourself this season? This season, um, for personally, my goal is just mm -hmm. to improve from last season, um, to just keep dominating, um, getting ahead of people, pitching, make sure um, pitch like swinging at good pitches. There's just certain goals within each thing that I do on the field, but definitely to be a leader on this team. Last year I was second team all conference, and so I'm hoping to also make a team this year, but obviously nice. you can't necessarily control um, stat stats, but mm -hmm. um, the goal is just to make sure I'm just doing my best, having a good time, and making people around me better. That's great, a lot of success individually. Mm -hmm. What about team goals? Have you thought about you know some goals you have for this team this season? Mm -hmm. Yeah, our, our goal, we talked about goals, and um, our goal is to make it to state. We want to play in state. Yeah, last year we were one game away, and um, we ended up losing that game, which was a real disappointment because we had a bunch of really good seniors, like a few really good senior leaders. Um, but our goal is just to make it to state this year. Um, and then little goals underneath that are to communicate well with each other, play you know together as a team, and just do our best and have fun because it's just some of these girls last games ever. Well, now we are joined by senior outfielder Melinda Hamm. Melinda, thanks so much for joining me today. Sure. Now, I wanted to come up with a fancy name, and I must have, I wanted to dub you and Annie like the Swingin' Sisters. I didn't want to call you the Bash Brothers, but I wanted to come up with something because I found out that last year you hit 351, drove in 12 RBIs, pretty impressive stats. What do you, what do you feel the strengths of this team are? I think this team works really well together compared to previous years even, which is surprising because we lost some like core members last year, but mm. I think we work really well together and we're also pretty good on offense. That's great. Now I want to ask personally, what goals have you set for yourself this season? This season, since it's my last, I just want to improve every day, every game better than the last one. So now we are joined by senior catcher, Lila Rowe. <laughs> Lila, thanks so much for joining me today. Yes, thank you. Now, we talked a lot about the senior presence, the senior experience on this uh, Falcons softball team, and your ladies are currently 3-0. What goals <laughs> and expectations did you have for this team going into the season? Um, my goals, I just wanted us to compete hard. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of seniors, but we also have a lot of newcomers, too. Okay. So I want them to play hard, be confident in themselves, and just know that like we always have their back. Yeah, nice. You know, Personally, I wanted to ask, what goals have you set you know, for yourself this year? For myself, yeah. um, I want to be a contributing member of the lineup for sure, okay. hitting wise. And then um, I'm catching a lot of games this year, cool. so framing, working hard for Annie, she does a lot for us. So yeah. Do you feel like this team has what it takes to win the Mid Columbia Conference? Maybe that's not a goal, but do you, mm -hmm. you think that this team has what it takes to do that and to make a run in state? Of course. Yeah. Of course we do. Yeah. I think we do. Absolutely. Of course I do. Yeah. Yeah. I have a lot of confidence in us. I think we're gonna do great. 
I think we could if we work really hard all season and keep it up until then. This is a great group of girls. I've played with them for three years now, most of them for three years. Um, we've just, we've got, everyone here has the passion to play. Um, everyone here has the experience. Most of us have played competitively and um, I just do think that we have it. We just have to work together. Um, we have great coaches who are helping us out to make us better, improve us, and I just think that we, I think we have a chance, yeah. Now, this is the last year you'll get to, you know, put on the purple and gold uniform mm -hmm. and play for the Hanford Falcons. What's been your approach to your senior season? Uh, really just have fun and do my best all the time and don't really worry about the pressure as much because that doesn't help me do better. I just want to put it all out there, don't leave anything on the table. Um, I'm not playing after this, so I just want to give it my all while I have the chance and the opportunity. Now we spent a lot of time talking about the athletic ability and accomplishments of the girls of the Lady Falcons softball team but it's just as exciting to talk about their accomplishments in the classroom. The cumulative GPA of the 42 girls in this program is 3.32. So as you can see, they're not just putting in hard work out here on the field, but they're also putting in the hard work in the classroom. Now, if you would like more information on anything happening in the city of Richland, I strongly encourage you to visit our webpage at the link below. And don't forget, we are where you are. Find the city of Richland on all the popular social media platforms. Find us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. I'm Mark Ingham. Thanks for joining me on this edition of Explore Richland.